So up to now we have discussed about the uh, photoelectric effect on the particle theory. Now we are dealing with the changes of the photoelectric effect on the wave theory. So its title is photoelectric effect wave theory. So in the 19th century, the wave theory of light or wave theory of the electromagnetic waves were generated and it was proven by the different scientists. So this wave theory enables the electromagnetic nature of the wave, nothing but the EM waves and polarization of the waves interference of the waves many more explanations like uh, Young's interference these all experiments so this electromagnetic waves the polarization of the waves interference of the waves and many more expressions and many more phenomena of light proves the wave nature of the light so according to the proof of this wave nature of the light one theory was developed that theory is called as wave theory mr great einstein picked this wave theory to explain the photoelectric effect so what is his explanation so if light is acting as a wave so one particle is emanating the lot of waves to the exterior with the help of some internal forces the same can be happened to the emission of electrons from the metal surface this is the thought initiated by the Mr. Einstein. So according to his thought, let us take a metal surface, some light of frequency or some intensity was incident on the metal surface continuously. So it contains some free electrons, some are top of the metal surface, some are interior of the metal surface, maybe the uniform size whenever if you increase the intensity of the incident light ray or intensity of the incident uh, any energy source then this intensity will be absorbed by the electrons first by the uh, metal surfaces that means the electrons which are at the metal surfaces they will absorb this energy at first at the same time because of that electrons will attain greater electric and magnetic momentum so electrons will attain greater electric and magnetic momentum. So intensity was increased and continuously increased and that intensity fall on the metal surface the electrons which were near to the metal surface the first layer or which are close to the top surface of the metal they will absorb the energy first whatever may be the frequency so frequency is not a matter here so frequency is independent of matter So, which is the main priority? Intensity of radiation. So, whatever may be the frequency which is applied on the metal target, so the electrons will absorb it and they will come out. But they will come out in a form of wave. What is the name of this wave? So this is the assumption made by Einstein. He said that frequency is not a matter for the emission of electrons, only intensity is the matter to emit the electrons. So the emission of electrons is independent on frequency. It is dependent on intensity. Increase the intensity can increase the momentum of the electrons both electrically and magnetically. 
This is really uh, with uh, showing some differences and contradiction to the classical theory. Because in classical theory, we have fixed the frequency and uh, showing the variation between the potential and the intensity. Fixed the intensity and showing the variation between potential and frequency. Such like that, uh, we have seen a lot of graphs. So through these graphs, a uh, lot of theories were developed. But how it will be proved? This is the question in the mind of Einstein. So for this purpose, he assumed the he took the help of uh, quantum theory of physics also and he included the wave theory and he tried to prove it and he succeeded so 19th century beginning low electromagnetic waves waves like a polarization interference and properties prove even the university electromagnetic waves and even any the best example than the project and human uses a theory in a wave theory and turn any project because of this wave theory, Einstein e wave theory help this kuni photoelectric effect to prove it and try this. So in the Lobaganga, okay, metal surface me the okay, intensity of light wave ni incident chase na put a metal surface me the not twenty electrons energy ni absorb chase kuni avi bite costai okay, wave form low was the frequency and tuna sare intensity me the okay, emission and the depend on you. Eak assumption of classical examples ki contradiction go on. So we should remove this contradiction by the help of some equation part. So, one more contradiction according to the wave theory of light which was uh, assumed by the Einstein is, if suppose a metal surface which contains some n number of electrons. If it is the matter of the wavelength or if it is the matter of the intensity, if suppose we have incident one light of some particular wavelength this whole wavelength will be absorbed by the all electrons absorption by all electrons so n number of electrons inside the metal absorbing the total wavelength then what about the wavelength absorbed by each electron that is said to be wavelength per electron. Lambda. We know that V is equal to N lambda. So where N is frequency, lambda is wavelength. But here N is number of electrons. So, this whole wavelength should be absorbed by the number of electrons but the wavelength absorbed per each electron due to the explicit calculations it is very small. So explicit calculations it is very small. If the wavelength absorbed by each electron is very small then its work function also very small. If the work function is also very small, the electrons to say it will come out of the metal and it will be our power supply. The electrons will take hours of time for the energy. So, this point is a contradiction for the spontaneous emission. So, how successfully Mr. Einstein has uh, overcome these failures uh, in his theory, we will go to discuss now. If you look at metal surface, lo, metal local n number of electrons in there, lambda wavelength in the incident case, n electrons in wavelength absorbed. I say 
ఒక్కొక్క ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఎంత వేవ్ లెంత్ అబ్జార్బ్ చేసుకున్నది అన్నది చాలా స్మాల్ క్వాంటిటీలో ఉంటుంది సో ఇఫ్ యూ స్థింగ్ మనం ఏం ఇప్పుడు ఒక వన్ బై వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ కనుక అది ఎడిట్ అవుతుంది అంటే ఈ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ క్యాలిక్యులేషన్స్ వల్ల ల్యాండ్ బై అన్ వాల్యూ చాలా తక్కువ వస్తుంది దీనివల్ల వర్క్ ఫంక్షన్ చాలా లో వాల్యూ అవుతుంది దానివల్ల ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఎక్కువ సమయం తీసుకుని ఎమిషన్కి వస్తాయి అనేది మనం క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయొచ్చు కానీ ఈ ప్రాపర్టీ స్పాంటేనియస్ ఎమిషన్కి కాంట్రడిక్షన్గా ఉంది సో దీని క్యాలిక్యులేషన్స్ ఏ విధంగా ఓవర్కమ్ చేయొచ్చు అనేది మనం